hello to Hilo and Kona listening in on ESPN Radio. Beautiful day here in the islands. It's a big day of surf and a big day for Marcus Mariota. Pick is in. Tennessee Titans have decided at pick number two. With the second pick in the 2015 NFL Draft, the Tennessee Titans select Marcus Mariano, quarterback, Oregon. This kid, he will make you sleep well at night and gives you one less thing to worry about in the NFL right now that there's plenty of other things to worry about. It's hard to win in the National Football League. You can win with this kind of kid. Looking, firing, he's got Delaney Walker. Touchdown, Titan! Four touchdown passes for the kid. Marcus Mariota just threw and caught a touchdown pass. That is the maestro, Marcus Mariota. My goodness, the young maestro is special. That's why you pick him. That's why you want him. When you first meet a kid when he's 11 or 12 years old, you don't have a crystal ball and say, this kid's going to be, you know, a number two draft pick. He's going to win the Heisman. But you just hope that a kid at that young of an age has the support to get all the way to that point. Mom and Dad. <laughs> Thank you for sacrificing <laughs> and providing me and Matt every opportunity we could ever have. Words can't express how much you guys mean to me. I'm truly grateful to have you guys in my life. When you have parents like them, you're gonna have a basis of morals and values. If you think about every decision that you make about what your, what your mother may think, or what your grandmother may think, or your aunt, or your sister, um, you won't find yourself in some situations that a lot of these other guys are finding themselves in. He had a great attitude, worked hard, and a guy like that, you know, it's just a matter of doing the things that you've got to do every day and everything will fall into place. And that's kind of what's happened for him. What's up, how we doing? I don't know about that shirt though. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I'm messing with you. I could see, and we all could see at St. Louis, that he was going to be um, out there doing bigger and better things for everybody. So for us, this is no surprise that, that he's out there in the community, in our global community especially, and making a difference everywhere. How we doing? What's your name? It's very nice to meet you, Brandon. I think a combination of his giving back stems from the family values that, that they have in the Mariota home. A good example of that is when Marcus was a ninth grader, uh, he received the Webco Foundation Scholarship. We usually have about 40 applications for that scholarship. It's very competitive. It goes to a freshman. That scholarship is, is $7,500 a year for four years. So it's a $30,000 award. And the Mariotas had Marcus and Matt, you know, at St. Louis, and it was a struggle, you know, paying private school tuition, especially with the cost of living in Hawaii. Marcus uh, end, ended up receiving the scholarship. And later that year, uh, when the general scholarship applications became available, I approached him one day and said, hey Marcus, I noticed you haven't applied for, for the general scholarships, for the academic scholarships. Uh, there's a number of scholarships you qualify for, you know, you really need to, you really need to apply. And his response was, he says, oh no, my, I talked it over with my parents and we're just grateful that we got the one that we got, that it's important that others have opportunities to receive scholarships as well. I mean, that was really touching for me. My parents, no matter what, have done their best to give back and serve. I just kind of want Motivate to be that for, for people. The mission is to help underprivileged youth and homeless. And really, we, we've kind of taken it so it's, it's here in Hawaii, it's in Oregon and also in Nashville. And what we try to do is money that's raised here in Hawaii or in Oregon or Nashville, we, we tend to flush it back into the community. So that people that live here understand that their dollar is being spent 
you know, where they live and they're affecting the people around them. For him to give up a, a, a four foot a day at Sandy Beach where he can go out there and, you know, ride his uh, boogie board and give that up to help uh, um, a fellow teammate, you know, study for a uh, geometry exam or help him write a term paper and that's wow, that's like wow, I mean, that's, that's my guy and that's the guy I want to be like and, and, and when people outside of, uh, of our community sees that, um, sees that, then they'll feel the same way that we do and I think they're starting to see that in Marcus. What's going on? I can. Number eight, I love it. You know, he just, he made you feel like he wasn't a star. He was, but he never made you feel like you were talking to a star. He made you feel like you were talking to somebody that respected you for talking to him. That's weird. Thank you, Marcus. Of course, Thank no you problem. so much. Yeah, very nice to meet you Nice to meet you yeah. too. Hopefully, you know, with the position that I'm in, I can hopefully give back and help some of these kids and really just allow them to live out their dreams. Just being a Polynesian athlete, like with our culture, it's very embracing, respectful, and it's very humbling. So when you do get something as a, as a reward or you do do something good out in the sports, your parents and your siblings always remind you to stay humble. So I think there is a sense of pride in knowing like why you do it in like actually understanding and knowing your reason into why you're actually doing something. Being Polynesian, being Samoan, um, you, you hold everybody that's Polynesian or Samoan, you, you kind of hold them on your shoulders and you want to do your best to represent that in the best way that you can. The Polynesian family, they're, the dads and the moms, they're, they're, they're a different breed. You know, your mom and my mom would just be happy with us um, just being out there and participating, you know, but uh, the Polynesian uh, community is just a bit different. But in a way that's different, you know, it really pushes uh, the Polynesian athlete to another level, you know, and not being satisfied with just, um, you know, what you've done, but you've got to get better. And it's just a matter of, you know, how you can get better the next day and doing something about it kind of guy that he just gets you better no matter what you're doing no matter what field you're in what job you're in just if you watch him and see how he goes about his everyday life he always finds a way to make you get better. Marcus means everything to this team he's our leader first and foremost I think as a team we all count on him to just do what he does he's a fantastic player and we all trust him we all have our faith in him we all got his back no matter what He's a special dude, and I'm happy to be here with him, and I'm happy to be on this team with him. And I can't speak for nobody else, but man, I know he can take us all the way. Marcus is a true leader. He was born a leader. He's not afraid to take criticism on his back. He owns up for his mistakes, and that's a guy you want to play for. That's a guy you want to be the captain of your team, and that's a guy you want to be your quarterback. Is a guy who's not afraid to take the blame. He never points the finger. And I'm defensive of Marcus and a lot of us are because he took a lot of harsh criticism and you know he takes on the chin he goes out there to work each and every day so I have a tremendous amount of respect for him we train a lot together on and off the field that people don't always see but he's one of the first guys in the building each and every day and I appreciate him and I'm sure the success will follow. My expectations for him this year are have, have no ceiling. Um, I th I've seen him recently, he's bigger, he's stronger, he's dedicated to working out. I think the Titans have brought in new weapons in protecting him. I think you're going to see him uh, pop this year like never before. The excitement, you know, it always comes around, but, you know, I can really feel it this year. And um, it's, it's fun because, again, you know, we got a good core group of guys that have been there since really my rookie year. Um, and we've kind of always consistently got better. Um, you know, to put three winning seasons together is, all, is an awesome foundation. Now let's go take the next step, and I think we're ready to do that. I think you're going to see him take this team to new heights this year. I, I think they've got a chance to be really good because that's Marcus Mariota. If, if you put him around great players, he'll take them to a new level. And I, I'm going to step out of the limb. I think this is the year. I really think this is the year when they back to the playoffs and, and make a little bit of a run.
Mariota steps up, throws downfield. There's Davis. He's got it at the 15. Gets away to the 10, to the 5, to the end zone. I think we have an opportunity to make the next step. Um, I'm excited to, to get healthy. I'm excited to go back out there with our guys. Again, we've got a solid foundation. And for us right now, I think we're always kind of getting better. I think Coach Vrabel's got a vision for us. And um, as we continue to, to push towards that vision, I think we'll end up where we want to go. It's, it's a journey that we're all on and we're supporting him and we just want the best for him. And I know he knows he has a strong corner, strong team with family, friends, and all of the above. And we're just really excited to see him keep flourishing. Love all you guys. For the boys on three, one, two, three. Four. Four.